This is Industry Wednesday. Every Wednesday, we analyze a different industry. Today, we're looking at 15 things you didn't know about the oil industry. Welcome to ALUX.com, the place where future billionaires come to get informed. Hello, ALUXers, and welcome back to our channel. We're happy to have you with us today for another special and controversial topic, the oil industry. It affects our daily lives, from what we buy to where we go and when. It's almost all the products we use, including clothes, furniture, and so much more. Our economy really depends on the oil industry as it dictates the prices of many other goods. At the same time, the world's richest and most powerful are involved with oil, or the black gold as it's rightfully known as. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. So sit back, relax, and be prepared to take some notes on the 15 things you didn't know about the oil industry. Number one, it's one of the most polluting factors that is destroying our environment. There's no other way to put it. Petroleum is really damaging to the environment. Of course, petroleum isn't bad in itself, but once it goes through the combustion process, it produces a large amount of nitrous oxide plus sulfur dioxide. These chemicals combine with water in the atmosphere, and that's how acid rain is formed. The oil industry is also particularly responsible for global warming or climate change. At the beginning of the 20th century, Nobel-winning scientist Swante Arrhenius demonstrated that carbon dioxide emissions cause an increase in the Earth's surface temperature, creating what we now know as the Arrhenius effect. Number 2. Vladimir Putin has made a fortune in the oil and natural gas industry While we normally associate Vladimir Putin with his non-compromising politics and alleged meddling in the US 2016 presidential elections, it seems like he's also a very wealthy man. In fact, while he's one of the most powerful men on Earth, if not the most powerful, nobody knows exactly what his net worth is. This leads some to speculate that he is far richer than he lets on. For example, Putin has ties to quite a few companies that are active mostly in the oil industry. A Kremlin source allegedly said that the Russian president has a 37% share in the fifth largest company in Russia that produces oil and gas. He also controls 4.5% of Gazprom, a natural gas company. It also makes some wonder if he's actually the wealthiest person in the world right now. Number 3. Oil is a natural resource that will end shortly No matter what oil companies might say, realistically speaking, we're running out of oil. Oil is a natural resource, and like all natural resources, there's only so much you can exploit. Each year, we use around 11 billion tons in fossil fuels and go through 4 billion tons of crude oil. According to the Cambridge Energy Research Associates, there are 3.74 trillion barrels of oil that are left to be exploited, and they predict that by the middle of the 21st century, we'll be hit by what's called peak oil. Peak oil comes with a lot of negative effects, such as a huge increase in prices for gas, global disruption, anarchy, and that we would start exploiting protected drilling sites. All in all, it's likely that by the year 2052, we will essentially run out of oil. Number 4. BP paid the world's biggest fine for an oil spill – $20 billion The Deepwater Horizon offshore drilling rig exploded on the 20th of April 2010, causing one of the biggest oil industry disasters in our time – the BP oil disaster. A staggering 210-gallon spill in the Gulf of Mexico essentially made an irredeemable damage to the environment. The company responsible for this, British Petroleum or BP PLC, was found to be grossly negligent in their handling of the situation and that the incident could have been prevented. In 2015, a New Orleans federal judge ruled that the company should pay $20.8 billion to make up for the damages they have made and cover the Clean Water Act penalties. Number 5. Charles Koch is the richest man in the industry, with a net worth of $60 billion He may not be the richest man in the world, he's actually 6th place, but he's the wealthiest in the oil industry. 
American Charles Cook is a businessman, philanthropist, and political donor who has a current net worth of $60 billion. His company, Cook Industries, initially made his big bucks in the oil refining and chemicals business, but then expanded to process and pollution control equipment, minerals, polymers, fibers, and many more. He's also a fan of art and educational institutes, being a frequent donor, and even co-founded the Cato Institute, an American librarian think tank. Number 6. Phones don't actually cause explosions at gas stations. Gas stations usually warn us not to use our mobile phones, and we rarely stop to ask why. It seems like something that makes sense, so we don't really question it too much. Apparently, this is a myth fueled by urban legends, and there have been no reported incidents of fires starting as a result of mobile phone usage and proximity to a gas tank. However, there is one thing that can cause this, and that is static electricity. The good news is that static fires are a rare occurrence. The bad news, of course, is that when they do happen, and electricity, even in a small amount, can ignite gas vapors and create a huge explosion. Number 7. Americans will drill in Alaska for oil, destroying the whole environment. Beautiful and wild Alaska is one of the last truly clean places in the U.S. The Arctic National Wildlife Refuge is home to the Alaskan moose, polar bears, wolverines, and other wonderful animals, and considered to be a sanctuary by many. It covers 19.6 million acres in northeastern Alaska and is currently threatened, or more likely soon to disappear. Since 1977, this refuge has been the center of a political controversy, with the GOP trying to have it exploited a record 50 times since then, and always failing. In 2017, though, the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act of 2017 will have made all of their attempts successful, and Trump signed this decision into law in December 2017. Number 8. Conspiracy theories state that the U.S. invaded Iraq and the Middle East for oil. This is one of the most debated and controversial conflicts in recent history, the Iraq War. It was so largely the reason why the 43rd President of the United States of America, George W. Bush, had come under scrutiny from both American citizens and foreign critics. It all began in 1973, a year in which the U.S. could have almost invaded Saudi Arabia since oil prices had soared and U.S. citizens had to use oil carefully, standing in long lines to obtain it. Fast forward to 2013, the U.S. attacked Iraq, overthrowing the regime of Saddam Hussein and essentially starting an eight-year war. Since then, members of the U.S. and the U.K. administrations had proved that the U.S., who was aided by the U.K. to fight the war, was largely interested in controlling Iraq's oil reserves. Number 9. Venezuela has the world's largest reserves of crude oil. Venezuela is now going through what is probably its toughest period. Its oil reserves are known to be the world's largest. A total of 297 billion barrels of crude oil are believed to exist as of 2014. The country is also one of the largest suppliers for the U.S., which receives around 1.4 thousand barrels daily. The Organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries said that the Latin American country produced around 2.47 thousand barrels in 2009, which could mean that at this rate, Venezuela has around 234 years of production time left. The problem with determining exactly what its real resources are is Venezuela's lack of transparency and political unrest, which makes it hard to determine the exact level of oil production. What many people don't realize is that Saudi Arabia is second when it comes to oil reserves found in the ground. Number 10. Aramco is the world's most profitable oil company valued at $2 trillion. The oil industry has a lot of secrets to keep, from its investors to real production rates and so on. Another secret that has been going on for years is the financial performance of Saudi Aramco. Aramco is a Saudi Arabian company and just happens to be the world's most profitable oil company. It's currently valued at a whopping $2 trillion. Saudi Arabia has a 100% stake in the business, which has a net income of $33.8 billion in 2017 and cash flows of $52.1 billion. 
if you want to learn some more about Saudi Arabia's crown prince, who also happens to call the shots when it comes to the oil business, make sure to watch our 15 Things You Didn't Know About Mohammed bin Salman Al Said by clicking in the top right corner of the screen. Number 11. Barrel Fluctuation Prices Affect the Whole Economy the most common way of storing oil is by the barrel, which in the US comes at a standard 42 gallons per unit. But did you know that manufacturers actually got inspired from the alcohol industry? That's because whiskey used to be stored in 40 gallon barrels, and they actually added two gallons more to cover spillages that would be done on the way to a certain location. Whether we know it or not, we all depend in some degree on the price of one barrel of oil. For example, an increase in oil costs leaves households with less money to spend on other expenses, and businesses that need to deliver goods from place to place also have to cover the extra cost. Also, the cost of gasoline directly influences the price of airline tickets, among many other things. Number 12. Synthetic fabrics like nylon or polyester are made from petroleum. Nylon and synthetic polyester are a fashion mainstay and are used for various products. They are made by using chemicals found in petroleum and coal. Clothing items, food packaging, and even instrument strings are made from nylon. Synthetic polyester has an interesting history. It was created between 1939 and 1941 by Calico Printers Association Limited, a British textile company. By the year 1951, it had already sold the rights to produce in the US to EID Pont de Nemours and Co., which began marketing it as Dacron. Synthetic fibers are more resistant than natural ones, but also non-biodegradable, sparking a debate between the commodity and long-term usage of these products. Number 13. Biofuel might replace petroleum in the near future. The science world has been concerned about our petroleum dependency for many decades. That's why biofuel might be the solution for a cleaner planet, and of course the solution we might use when we run out of oil. Biofuel can be made directly from plants or commercial, domestic, or agricultural waste, and it's not a new invention. Henry Ford originally wanted the Model T to run on ethanol. Even Rudolf Diesel, the man who invented the diesel engine, wanted to use vegetable oil originally. He even presented a prototype that ran on peanut oil at the World Exhibition in Paris in 1897. Nowadays in the US and Europe, gasoline and diesel fuels are also mixed with biofuel, and around 1 billion gallons of biodiesel are made per year. Number 14. The United States is the world's largest consumer of petroleum products. We fly a lot, we use our cars every day, and many products that we have are made using petroleum. All of this combined with companies' need to use fuel for various reasons, such as transportation of goods, it all really adds up. Right now, the US is the largest consumer of oil, way ahead of big countries like China. The US uses around 19.6 million barrels of crude oil every day, almost double the amount China uses. The other countries on the list are Japan and India, followed closely by Russia. Number 15. Oil rig workers are highly paid. Considering that the industry is highly profitable and that the job isn't easy, oil rig workers make a lot of money. Sure, not all the jobs are equal, since you need a college degree to become an engineer, but even the inexperienced workers that get to do the dirty work start with benefits such as training and a good salary. How good? Well, the average is $50,000 a year. More experienced laborers, such as drill technicians, earn $200,000 a year. If you love fields such as chemistry, geology, or engineering, you could get a starting salary of $100,000 a year. And of course, with more experience comes more money. Thanks so much for sticking with us all the way to the end, Alexers. We hope you enjoyed it. We're curious to know, do you think we'll find a sustainable solution to replace oil in the future? And of course, don't go anywhere just yet. Because you stuck with us all the way to the end, here's a bonus fact just for you. Number 16. Gasoline was so useless, refineries would actually throw it away. It's hard to imagine this today, but back in the 19th century, people didn't need gasoline since there was no use for it. Instead, oil refineries made kerosene, which was used for lighting lamps. Gasoline was just a byproduct of the production of kerosene, and it was thrown away as waste. 
Today, oil is metaphorically referred to as black gold, since it's so valuable to us. It's also the name of a 2011 dramatic film directed by Jeta Armata, a popular Nigerian filmmaker, telling the story of the people who had witnessed the destruction of their land by a multinational oil corporation. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.